Welcome back to the channel. So today we have on the table is the Power Hobby corner weight system. As you can see, it has four um, individual little scales and it has an app. And you can um, basically see your the weights and the distribution of the weight of your vehicle via the app. Um, it's a couple of little specs right here. I will put it in the description as well. All right, let's show you the box. This is what it would look like. Put the scales down, put the car on top, and you know, you go ahead and get the tuning. All right, so you go ahead and unbox it, pop it open, see what this guy looks like. All right, so on top, you get here some stickers, look like left, you got labeled the um, sensors, left front, right front, left rear, right rear. And then you have your manual here, instructions. All right, so there you go also gotta calibrate the scale and everything like that. So you go ahead and take the scale out. So here you got one of them, it's pretty light. It's a little light here in the front, uh, indicator light. Just the scale here. All right, one and I'll switch on the bottom. All right, so let's go ahead, let's pop them out. Got one here. There you go. Box looks like. All right, so again, basically got the scales here and uh, you would place the car on top. Grabbed, uh, grabbed my Mugen. So basically, try to do it from the side so you can see better, but and you try to put the scale in the center of it. Kind of like that. I mean, I'll probably do a better job once I'm actually doing it, but Basically, you put it on just like that. The camera back for you guys. And then your app would basically show you what the weights look like. So let me go ahead and um, try to set this up and I will um, get back with you guys here in a second. All right, so basically, I'm saying, um, as you're saying, short press the button on the bottom of the scale. I'm assuming maybe one of the scales. Uh, play the scale on the level surface. Then you download the GNS app. I believe it's the same app as the speed gauge. Um, um, after installing, enable the Bluetooth, and then I guess once it pops up, you punch in zero, 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 zero. Oh, uh, these will flash and such and such. So I'm going to be doing some of this. You probably just see my hands moving around on the camera. Well, I may do it just off camera, but that's what I'm about to do right now with this step. And then we'll get one of the cars on so we can see what everything looks like with the app. All right. So once you're in the app store, um, it, I already have the GNS, Power GNS installed. But it looked like I had to download like an add-on, which is called like RC Gears. You see right beneath it, you'll see the corner weight icon on, on there as well. So I went ahead and download that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn one of these scales on. I'm sorry, press it once. Go into the RC Gear um, app. And let's see what it does. Hit the plus sign. And it went solid blue. Uh, this is what it kind of looks like here. Unassigned scale. Let's tap that. Um, let me type in left rear. Um, oh, password, I'm sorry. So password is zero, 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 K. All right. And then position. Oh, so position icon there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit left rear. And I believe I got it on there. Left rear, okay, here we go. Left rear, make sure it turns up blue just like that. Hit okay. So now it's left rear, now the light's solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take one of this um, stickers here that comes with it and put it on the bottom so I know it's the left rear. All right, now I'm gonna Turn on another one. All right. And 
then go back to my app. I'm going to press the plus sign. I just want to do a search. I found another one. All right, unassigned. The password is 0000. zero, zero, zero. Hit OK. And then go ahead and press right rear. See the blue pop? Hit OK. And now it's assigned. So go ahead and put that sticker as well on right rear. Okay. And then do the same for the next two. Press that. Go ahead and hit the plus sign again, right there. It searched it, or it found it, I should say. I'm just gonna do the same thing. All right, so I'm gonna do it to remaining two, and then I will get right back to you guys. So now they're all assigned. All right, so just to show you, this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna press this top right one here, put a little weight on it. And there you go, reads. All right, all right guys, so another thing you wanna do, you go into your settings and you could look, um, you could change the units and then also calibrate and also check for firmware. So I'm gonna check um, for some firmware, see if any. I said new firmware available, so I'm gonna go try to update that. So let's see, click on some. Firmware key the device, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just update the firmware on the scales. And when I'm done, I'll come back and show you guys and click on another option to see what it does. All right, so all the scales are having new firmware. All right, 1.14. So now it was saying you want to calibrate the scale. So basically we need to get a 2000 gram weight so you can um, calibrate the scale. So I'm just trying to see if we can find something um, to try to calibrate it. Um, if not, I'll just show you guys how the scale works and I'll just try to figure out that, you know, afterwards. Okay, guys, so I'm finding some parts that would somewhat equal to the 2000 grams that I need. So let's see here. I got a ESC combo, got a battery. Two more batteries and I have the Maverick receiver it's a little bit I mean it's pretty much there so I'm gonna use this amount of weight onto the scale hopefully I don't know that'll work um, I'll have one solid piece that's 2,000 uh, 2, um, grams so we'll see guys uh, see if it works I just want to show you guys how to calibrate the system uh, once you get it all right so make sure your skill is back on um everything's already updated so go ahead hit the calibrate button all right i already have some a uh, bunch of items that kind of equate to two um two thousand grams so i'm gonna go ahead and take and then press the i'm gonna do the first one here the left rear then you go ahead and hit next and that's gonna tell you to put the weights on the scale. Again, hopefully this works. If not, I'll probably figure out something. All right, so you got the scale on here. It's about 2000. And then now, let's go ahead and hit calibrate. And it says calibration successful. Hit okay. All right, so now, going to remove it. I'm going to turn on this scale and basically do it for the rest of them. All right, when I get done, get back with you guys and then get up out of here. Okay, so now it's all calibrated now. So to be honest with you, I would rather get, you know, one item that's 2000 grams would be much easier and should probably be more accurate than what I did. But I just want to show you guys how, we, how you would do it. All right, so at that point, then I put one of the cards on the scale so you can see what it looks like. All right, so I got the Mugen on the table. So this is pretty much what the scale is showing right now. Mind you, there's electronics on the right side of it. So we're looking at the same. So basically, it's sitting like this. All right, guys, that's how it's sitting. So, so the right front 
is an 807 left front 505. So the right side definitely has a little more weight to it because of the electronics sits on the right side, the servo as well. So, I mean, definitely takes some, you know, balancing, but pretty good um, scale. Gives you a good detail. So I could put a little weight here on this back left. And then you see that scale go up just like that. And it changes all the way around. All right, so let me go ahead. I got another car to put on here real quick. I have my um, Vortec. I have to re-adjust um, the scales to it. And also, I guess, depends on how you place your scales, that could um, change the readings as well. So, you know, it's just something to give you some, a good idea of, you know, what your car is looking like. All right, so I got the Traxxas Vortec Supra 3.0 uh, on the scale. And it gives you the breakdown. This car is uh, completely stocked with a battery in it, except for the um, receiver. So left front 530, right front 483, and then your left rear 510, uh, right rear 550. All right, so gives you a pretty good breakdown onto the weight distribution of the car. Um, definitely a cool little scale to have um, if you want to, you know, just play around, get a little more detail with your car. Definitely a good little way to start. Um, I will throw my some cars off, you know, off camera. I just want to show you guys how the scale work. Throw some up more cars onto the scale to see what, you know, what they look like. I have some cars that run pretty straight, no issues. So I definitely want to see what the weight distribution looks like. Um, Cause I don't know what it is. I just go by, you know, feel the way the car drives. You just adjust at that point. So it'd be pretty cool for me to see what some of my cars actually is set up like. But again, guys, just want to give you guys a quick um, unboxing. Show you guys what this scale is about. Um, has some information in the description and also where you can purchase this vehicle. I mean, <laughs> vehicle, this scale. All right. Again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.